Before jacking, don't forget to block one of the front wheels or both if you feel more comfortable. And we're going to start by lifting the vehicle up here with the jack. Just take and put it right under the pumpkin of the rear end. And we'll start lifting it. And then we're going to get some jack stands under it. Okay, the jack stands are positioned. Have them underneath the axle dead axle on both sides but before we set the weight of the vehicle down on it I'm going to remove the tires and wheels. All right I'm going to use the cordless impact wrench and on this it's a 21 millimeter or on the Sienna. Yours could vary on what you're relining the rear brakes and removing the wheel on. Okay, and then we'll just slide the tire and wheel out of our way. Okay, tires and wheels are removed. We're going to set this down nice and slowly now onto the jack stands. And that's the stretch. I'm going to get the jack out of the way. If you want to let it sit under, that's your choice also. Just be sure to use jack stands. Don't ever just trust the jack. All right, now I'm going to remove the caliber bolts. One up here and down below and on this they are a 14 millimeter again different applications could be different sizes and there's that one loose and we'll just turn this out and we'll take the lower one out the same way okay now on that probably should have but it worked it wasn't real tight Taking the one out in the bottom first because you see I was pulling back, but in this case it worked. And we'll just remove that. And we're going to take and just pull that back off. And I'm going to take it and hang this out of my way. Right, I just had taken a piece of this copper wire and just tied it around the CV axle. Just so it's not falling, and you should never let it hang by the flex hose, any brake caliber. There I am, we can just slide our brake pads off, and the other one. And then we're going to have to take and remove the brake caliber bracket. That's the next step. Alright, there's two bolts that hold this caliber bracket on. One's down here, and up here on top and I'm gonna they're 17 millimeter take and turn each of those out and back to the problem of earlier we're gonna take the lower one out first all right now we're just gonna turn these bolts out that hold this on they can be fairly tight and we have that one started Maybe before we go much further, break the top one loose. And there's that one. And then just turn those out. And we'll get this bracket out of our way. We're going to pull off. Sometimes these will slide off. Sometimes they'll fight. And yeah, that one was no problem. And now's a good time to inspect if your vehicle has these parking brake shoes. And mine look basically okay. Usually they are all rusted because nobody uses the parking brake. I actually do and yeah they'll be just fine. And just repeat this for the other side of the vehicle. Right before we can put these rotors on they always come shipped like with a light oil coating on them. We're going to have to clean that off. And on that I'm just going to use this rust -Oleum wax and tar remover works good just use two rags get one wet with it and then just start going around wiping it put a little bit of pressure against them when you're doing it and then just go back around with your driving and if you feel necessary repeat that again and then just do the same on the rear side of the rotor before we go put the 
brake rotor back on over these parking brake shoes. I'm going to just take and scrape some brake cleaner on them. Just get rid of the dust. But there really wasn't bad. And just taking a little wear, the glasses of course. And then just blow that stuff through. And do the same to the other side. Alright, what else we want to do before putting this back together is clean our pins where the caliper bolt up. Just slip them out. Now that's actually pretty nice, but still clean the old grease off and put some fresh on it and just take hold the when you're doing this this little rubber that it sits in so it don't pull that out of the caliber bracket and then just slide them out and I'm just going to use an old paper towel I had laying here and just wipe the old grease off I said these were nice I've had these so rusted fast and same with the other one All right, and just take where those slip. Take, turn it over a little bit, and then just hold it away and blow each one of them out. Just get rid of all the muck in them. I've just used regular grease on these in the past. I've used, which I'm going to do today, and I see eventually, if you live where there's road salt, they seem ended up rusted back fast, but I'm just going to take and put that real nice. And then just do the same for the other one and slide them back in the... Actually, do that right now. Slide it right back in. And there's one and just do the same on the other one. Alright, and you have them both back in. The big thing, they need to move easy. And, like I say, mission accomplished. And what else you want to check? Before it gets real serious, is down in, let's see here if I can show you, down in here, these spots. That's where the brake, there's a clip that sits in there that holds the brake pads in place. And make sure that's not a big bunch of rust build up. If there is, just take a hammer and tap it loose. Now this one's actually all right on this one. Sliding our rotor back on, I decided on this. They slid off easy. I took and adjusted these parking brake shoes up and the right in there. And I just tightened them a little bit. Half moon shape cut out right in there. And I just pried down towards the ground to tighten them. Alrighty, and we can slide our rudder back on. Let's line it up with the lug nut studs. And you can tell since I tightened that a little bit of a should be a little protest going on, but, but there's back on, and that's about right. Should be a little baby bit of resistance, but not much. We're ready to put our caliber bracket back on. Lightly oiled the bolts there, just in some oil. Take, just right in here, where it sits down over the rotor. We'll just take and slide that right in. Throw one in. And they're started in, just take our wrench and we'll snug them up. These are to be torqued to 65 foot pounds. And I have the torque wrench set on that and use the clicking style and we'll just tighten them up. And right there is the one tighten and then just do the same on the other. Hey, we got our new brake pads laid out. And it comes with new clips there. And on the old ones, this was the side that the uh, caliber pushed against, which also has your brick indicator on it. So that's going to be the one towards the inside of the vehicle. All right, we're going to put these on first or clips. This sits like right in the middle, and you like have to take start it in and then just sort of like work it around. And they do just. If there that one is, it's down in place. So. This, as long as you're sitting down tight against your caliber bracket. And this is what I was saying, it's like right in the middle. It's hard to see. Those ears push in. You just sort of have to like push towards one side a little bit more and then straight down and it clips into place. Alright, this actually came with a little packet of 
grease. Most brake pads I've bought in the past have them, but I'm going to just take a little bit and just put it where our pad sit. Don't really want it on the rotor, but just a little dab. All the places where the pad's sitting in on the edges of our pads before we put them in. Alrighty, now we're going to put one of our brake pads in. The outer ones are the same. I'm going to slide one of the outer ones in first. Start at the bottom, just push it straight down. And then here at the top when you go to push it in, you just like give a little bit of a push forward and in it goes. The rear one later, was at the bottom. Now there is a difference and this is the one we're going to want. And just put a little bit of grease on those edges. And then we'll slide this in from the back. And same as putting the front pad in. And that's it. Okay, now we have to compress our piston back into the brake caliber. Now I do actually have a tool for this job, but it really won't work on this, the design of it. It won't center or go down in, so I'm going to do what I did for years. See clamp and one of the old brake pads. Just lay it against the piston and the caliber. And I have to open the C-clamp a little bit more. Slide that down over, and then just start to tighten. And you can see it going back in, I believe. Yeah, I have it focused, and then just turn until it pushes back in as far as it'll go. And there are pistons to press back into the caliber. Okay, and now we're just going to take our caliber and just slide it back in. And and get one of our bolts and same deal just tighten them in by hand and then we'll go torque them up and grab the other one and our caliber bolts up and they get the 25 foot pounds I had to use my smaller torque wrench on this one and same deal and that one clipped and then just do the same for the lower bolter if you start it on the lower, the upper, okay, since we have our caliber installed, just do everything, repeat on the other side of the vehicle, and there's two steps left. Okay, same as when we put it on the jack stands, just get it under the pumpkin and lift it up till the jack stands are free. The last thing here, we want to install our tires and wells, roll it over. And there she goes. And I'm just going to take and put her lug nuts on. Okay, with our lug nuts here started on, be sure it sits back in properly. And I'm just going to take, but I'm not going to do the final tighten, I'm just going to snug them up with the impact. Just working across the pattern. And then I'm going to torque them to back. And maybe just a little bit more on each one. I'm going to torque our wheels to the proper torque on this. It's 80 foot pounds. And, and then same deal, just work in the star shape pattern. And, and now the most important part of all is pumping our pedal back up because if you say we're going the whole way to the floor because we compressed those pistons in the caliber and just take and keep working and you'll feel it it'll start to pump up and I think we're about there now I'm going to start it once and finish it same, same deal yep it's good to go but be sure you do not forget to do this all right, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was fun to make. Like I say, be looking for more in the future. I enjoy cars, tractors, a little bit of everything. So be sure to check back and please be sure to hit that subscribe button.